Hey y'all, my makeup is not on yet. Um, I just got this like little wig on because I don't know, I feel like, like switching them every like couple hours. I don't really know. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just want to show you how bold I am. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so I'm putting my makeup on. I have to go to the post office so I can um, send out these uh, special custom underwear. Um, and yeah, I'm kind of feeling this color though. I used to be afraid of red, but this isn't like a bright red. It's more like a, like a dark, like a deep red, like a burgundy. And I'm really feeling it, so honestly. I'm probably just gonna like curl the bangs a little bit so they're not like right here. Um, and then maybe give them a little snip snip, but then I gotta like my face over again. I don't feel like doing any of that. But anyways, I just want to give you a little update. Um, I really cannot wait. I have somebody who should be coming there for me, so I think I'm gonna do really well. Regardless, I'm there to make some money, and I'm also gonna have fun while I do it. Hey guys, I am in the car. Makeup on, wig on. I'm ready to go to work. Um, let me turn this air on because it's not hot anymore. So, I have to stop for gas because one thing I hate doing and I really advise against you girls doing is getting gas after work. Please, if possible, try to get, try not to get gas um, after work is over because it's really not the safest thing to do. Um, just because, you know, people will see you leaving work and then want to follow you and stuff like that. So you really want to just go straight to where you're going afterwards. If you're going home, you're going to a friend's house, wherever you're going, um, that is your safe location after your shift is over. Just go straight there. Don't stop. Don't pass go. Don't collect $20. Just go straight to where you're going. You know, things happen. Like, definitely don't drive around no gas in tank. But if you can avoid it, get gas on the way to work. You know what I mean? Because most times I feel like a lot of us don't have our um, our face done before we go to work or, or wig or whatever. You know what I mean? So we don't look as, I don't want to say attractive. But when I do say attractive, I mean in the sense where, you know, like something that shines attracts you. You know what I mean? So you might not have your makeup on stuff like that that really like attracts somebody from like the ordinary woman at the pump you know what i mean so yeah basically if you can avoid it avoid going to the gas pump after work is done okay it's dark and things like that listen if you're strapped like me i'm not saying do whatever you want but you might not have to worry as much you might be like well i don't really care and that's perfectly fine no worries um, but just be careful. You know what I mean? I'm strapped, but I don't put myself in the situations where I have to use what I got. You know what I mean? I'd rather avoid any type of situation where I need to defend myself or protect myself, however you want to word it. Um, but yeah, so that being said, um, three day used car sale. So, hold on, is the sale for three days, or is it a used car, a, a, a car sale with the cars not even used for three days? Because that's a very specific time to use a car. But, um, anyways, um, little car, um, dealership, I'm passing by, that's why I said that. Anyways, um, so yeah, I'm really excited, I'm gonna be there shortly, just gotta go through a few more lights and then I'll be there. Um, so yeah, I hate when I'm at a light and I'm like blocking an intersection and the light is red and so I have to like wait until that's not a thing anymore. But the light's turning green now because I'm always like, some people will be rude, like they'll want you to like back up just so they can go. Now I understand, listen, I understand because when you can't fit in, it's like really annoying, but Bro, I'm so sorry. But anyways, I'm like, I'm like really anxious and nervous sometimes. I'm trying to work on it these days, but it can be like really tough. Another thing too, I would recommend you guys not do. And like I said, if you're strapped or if you just don't give a fuck, do you. But I would really think, I, I really would like to say that you're probably like a lot safer 
if you don't make any stops, including going to the ATM. Now I know some of you guys, excuse me, <laughs> some of you guys probably like uh, cannot bring a lot of cash home. You know what I mean? Depending on who you live with or just safety wise, you might not want to bring a lot of cash with you to where you are. You know what I mean? Like if you dance in a really nice area, but where you live is an area you don't really feel safe having money on you. Fear of getting robbed, things like that. That is totally understandable. I'm not trying to act like I'm better than anybody. Because I don't want to walk around with a lot of cash on me where I live. But I'm strapped. So I feel like I kind of have a little bit of protection with me these days. But like I said, I don't chance it. I don't mess up in situations. I don't, you know what I mean? So what I like to do is if I can oh, oh, okay the signal would be like really nice to use sometimes um, the cars were all like moving over to the side I'm just looking at them like what the hell is going on but anyways um, yeah if you can cash in your ones try to get the biggest bills possible get the fewest amount of bills possible and then like hide that shit in your sock or underneath your wig cap um somewhere just where it's not uh it's not gonna be easy to uh snatch off you you know what i mean or just like it's hidden in that case but if you really really can't do that i understand i'm not gonna sit here and pass judgment upon you uh sorry i'm looking at the time that wasn't a side eye <laughs> But yeah, so, oh my god, guys, if you were on my live stream, you will know that I flashed IG by accident. And it's times like that that I'm like, I wonder if anybody screen recorded it. Because that shit was hilarious. I had one of those, like, snap crotch onesies on. I don't have it with me because I don't want that to happen on stage. Because if we, it's, it's only a topless club, right? But, uh, yeah, so, I... But showing off my plug because it lights up. Showing it off, right? And then people are talking about, oh, like, her kitty's bald now because I put it on Twitter, you know. And I'm like, yeah, so I stand up. Because, you know, it's like it's like a it's like a V-shape around. There's the club. I'm so excited. There, it's like a V-shape around the kitty, right? So I'm just kind of like, you know, flexing on the camera. That shit opens up and flashes the camera. I'm like, oh, shit. Now, here's the thing. At least it wasn't like open face pussy. Okay, that would be an issue. It wasn't open face pussy. So, yeah, I'm at the club now, and I'm very excited, very nervous, but I'm very excited. Um, I got all my stuff in my, my bag here, and there's so much stuff in it, I don't even know what's in here, honestly. But um, yeah, I will let you guys know how it goes, and I'm see you. Bye. Hey y'all, I'm back. So I was just uh my my headlights are so fucking bad. One, I need like new, like regular headlights. 
um because right now i'm just kind of working off of high beams which is not the best thing in the world but it's something right um but even then like the he my, my bouncer was telling me to like get this these wipes called like turtle wax and i can use it to uh, like wipe down the thing and it'll kind of get that yellow tint off because it just happens over time right um but anyways just had my first night back at the club it was very interesting um so shout out to larry he came in and saw me from instagram shout out to you you made my night like you just made my night perfect um had another customer come in to see me shout out to you um i fucking forgot your name not gonna lie uh but a very nice sweetheart his hair is awesome um but yeah thank you for making my night back perfect because for me i didn't want to come back and like instantly be like i don't want to do this because not having people there like you know like i'm not saying i'm at that kind of point where it's like people need to pay to see me but i don't really want to come out if i know if, if i don't think i'm gonna make money you know what i mean so not that i need the club to pay me a fee for me to perform because i'm not i'm not big like that right be nice if i was but i'm not big like that um but no, I don't mind, you know, paying the house fee, doing all that stuff to perform. That's not a problem. But I will make sure that... I turn right here. Let me sure I don't miss this turn because I'm not trying to be out here all night. Okay. Um, but yeah. I will make sure that um, I have people coming out to see me because one and here's the thing too I was also saying like okay even if he doesn't show I'm not going to be sad I'm not going to rely on that um, on the fact that he might may or may not come in but Larry kept on checking in with me on Instagram like hey I'm just letting you know I'm going to be there this is the time I'm touched down you know things like that and it, it was really nice so yeah I was happy that I got there and I actually like, did well. Um, oh shit. Hold on. Okay, sorry guys, I had a phone call. But um, oh yeah, always have somebody to check in to make sure that you get home safe. That's what that was right there. Always got to have somebody who you feel like. Um, this guy's moving really slow. And I might cut in front of him, but I have to wait. Anyways. Um, damn, what was I saying? So I hate getting cut off. Um, well, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to wrap up the night. So basically, yeah, I had one customer come in, so he's going to be there all weekend. So I'm trying to think if I want to come there again tomorrow or the next day. Saturday, I might not be able to do it. We'll see. Uh, the heels I wore, like I showed you guys in the last clip, I can't, I can't wear those again. So if I do dance, I'm going to have to, I want to get a pedicure because I only wore those shoes because I need to get my feet done. That the, the shoes are not open-toed, open-toed, uh... <laughs> so I gotta do that. Um, so yeah. Um, I'm probably I want to go with somebody to get a pedicure, but I'm trying to save money to be honest. So I might just do it myself. But yeah, it was pretty good. Um, so me and Larry did. I'm sorry, I should be saying his name like that. What's not you guys like can see him? Whatever. We did some lap dances, and then we. St this guy is probably drunk because the way he's swerving in and out the lane is not good. At first, I thought he was taking the exit, but then he stayed in the lane. He's moving slow. I kind of saw we were like trying to focus. You kind of veer off to the side here and there. I'm going to have to stay back here because I can't 
trust that he's not going to go to the left side if I go to the left lane. But he's more like veer and right. Anyways, all I had was a glass of wine. I don't really feel anything, but I don't want to drink because I want to be able to protect myself and like, stay alert. Oh yeah, you guys can see I have a different wig on. Tell me how it, it's purple, right? It's like lavender. Uh, it's like a, it's like a different like different shades of purple, different different. Bro, I'm about to pass this dude because what the fuck is going on? After I pass him, that's when he wants to speed it up. He's not even taking the egg. He's like literally, you know how there's like, this is the highway, right? And then you got the exit, and there's like that white space in the middle. I don't know what you would call it, the divider, whatever. Stop right in there. I, I guess that's better than nothing, but, you know, the cops see that, they're gonna be like, yo, what the fuck are you doing anyway? You know? <sighs> Everyone was like, your titties got bigger. I'm like, this is great. I'm never doing cocaine again. <laughs> that's the only reason why uh, they kind of got they kind of stay at the one size they were at. But they got bigger because I gained weight. And I've been in the gym. So that's always good. Um, it's like super dark right now. I know you guys can't see me for shit. But what I will say is um, it was cool. It was a cool night. Um, And I make good money. It's, it's not a money thing. It's just, uh, you know, I've done this for seven years on and off. I, you know, did it sober, and then I was addicted for a couple of years, and then I got sober during my hiatus. Then going back, and, and I had like glass on. Like I said, I'm fine. Uh, and then after I had some water, I felt really dehydrated. Because when I was wearing that one outfit, I think I put in another clip. Uh, it's supposed to be a money bag, but it's actually like a pouch. And the bartenders were like, oh my god, like, your hat is so cute, like, I need one. I'm like, I can make you one. Oh, my dumbass. I don't know why, like, it's a crochet hat, right? So, a money bag pouch that I decided to put on my head. Um, I don't know why I'm so afraid to say how much something costs, like, because that piece right there, like, I can see if it was something really small, but that right there, that takes time, and... Honestly, time, materials, and just like the way it's made is like, uh, if I can explain it to you guys better, I would just say, because you guys switch to different types of yarn, it's like bread for one row, and then green, you gotta like, it's, it's different stitches, you know what I mean? Um, it's not like I have, if I had like a bunch of them, just lined up, it would be like a discounted price, but since I have to make it, I have to get the materials. I don't have... I don't think I have that yarn in here. Right, so, yeah. That's why I really don't want to sell crochet stuff because if I really sit there and calculate uh, my time, products, and the difficulty, all that stuff. So first, like, my time, like, I'm taking my time to make it. But then also is how long it will take me. Because it could take me, like, let's say, eight hours to make it. But I'm not going to sit down for eight hours. You know what I mean? So, yeah. It was, so, yeah, I was saying it was funny. I, I was wearing this wig. Because first I started with the red one. And then I switched to this one. Because it was just the bangs. and just It was too hot, right? This one is a, a different shade of purple. And I'm talking to this dude. He's like 74 years old. Sweetheart. Um... But yeah, uh, <laughs> so in the club, the lights are different. If you, did it, if you haven't been to a club before, they have blue lights and things will glow differently. I wore this because I knew it was going to glow. It doesn't look purple though. It looks like white. You know what I mean? Or like a really strong like silver. So he said, how old are you? I said, I'm 27. He's like, you don't look a day over 25. I'm like, thanks. I don't think 27 is like anything. But anything. Uh, anyways, so he's like, what color is your hair? I'm like, it's like purple, different shades of purple, lavender, and stuff like that. He said, do you want to look older? And I'm like, 
do I look older with this hair? And he's like, no. I'm like, listen, you can be honest with me. I, I got, I didn't tell him this, but I have like, I have like five wigs in my bag. Okay, I have more wigs than outfits, that's sad. Because I was going to change my second outfit, my third outfit. I didn't know what to wear. So, the email on outfit number two, I was just like, uh, what do I wear? <laughs> So yeah, I gotta get this turtle wax thing for my headlights because it is so bad. I got the high beams on. Tell me why it looks like regular lights. Like your regular uh, regular headlights. That's not good. Um, happy that my phone's still recording. But yeah, so. Because you can be honest with you, you don't want to say anything else after that. But it's cool, you know what I mean? Um, I guess I just know what not to wear at the bar. Yeah. I was gonna do like one last set, but uh, bro, the way my feet were hurting in those shoes, I was gonna wear the smallest shoes that I found, but 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 uh, like I said, my feet are not approved, uh, ready for that type of open toe shoe. Uh, I feel like my car is like veering to the left and right. And it's like not because I'm like tired, it's like it feels like it's doing it. Um, so yeah. Got the cake, baby, it's a nail, yeah. It was fun though, you know, I was dancing to some, some Michael Jackson, some Whitney, and my customer was loving it, and I'm like, oh, this is great. So my thing is, and I wasn't even really playing that for him per se, but I'm happy he was vibing with it. Cause that's one thing that you all have to understand when it comes to playing music. You want to play music that your potential clients can like. You know what I mean? And I'm not, cause I'm not saying like play music that fits the demographic of the of the of the customers that are there, and then they end up. Not even because I remember like, there was times that the other club I worked at, and I would sit there and play music that I assume they like. The thing is, you can't always assume. I don't know if it was the music or if it was me, but like, literally, I remember they like, just came in right and I was next on stage. I was so ready to slay. I get probably like right into the chorus of the song. I forgot what song it was, but something like rock or whatever. Right into the chorus of the song. They all got up and left. Probably like four dudes. I was so mad, bro. I was so mad. I'm like, bro, I don't even like, like there's some songs, like I can dance to most genres, but certain genres, I like, I'll pick certain songs out. You know what I mean? Like once I dance to rock, I can dance to some system some corn you know like i like i like 90s like new metal you know uh some some stuff in the 2000s but i'm not that like i don't have that much knowledge of it so i can't be like oh yeah like definitely like 2010s rock you know what i mean like i don't know a lot of it but but i just listen to you and that's really a lot of the stuff that i learned and heard just by being in the club because i really wasn't listening to that genre outside of the club but yeah so yeah like 90s like thousands like pop rock um, I don't normally dance to that. I like early 2000s pop and R&B. When it comes to rock, I don't really know a lot of them. You know what I mean? I really listen to it like that. Country too. But I can pick certain songs out of it. But if I sit there and play a song, I think you guys are going to like You guys walk out and I feel stupid. So get a feel of your potential client. Find out what they like. And then go off of that. And then you can give the D. It's just some people get on the road and I just feel like I sat here and merge this guy merges right back. Listen man. I'm not gonna give you guys road rage because they're not worth my time, my energy, and my action. But they're just doing too much. Like bro, I don't care if you merge in front of me. But like, do it in a timely manner, you know what I mean? Like, you're just, oh, she merged it, I'm gonna merge it. No, no, come on. And be the people who like have like those sensors on the car. 
where you can see like in their in their side view mirror it'll it'll show that someone's there a little eye call will come up why are you you know what I mean anyways I had a great night I had a great night I didn't count how much I made but I made I made a good amount of money I don't want to say how much I think I made but then again I like to keep it real with you guys so I'm going to say Okay, so the ones that I danced that I got like a hundred from. The other one. I think I got a hundred. It's like two something I would say. Either high twos or low threes. And like I said, I am fine with that. I am happy with that. Right? And like I said, I was going to do more set, but my feet just started hurting on your feet. And it was already after 9 o'clock because there was more girls coming in who kind of got like fit in like between me and the last girl so it's okay but one thing I like about this mid shift at 5 to 9 to 8 it's not a lot of girls you have the girls who are there in the daytime like 12 to 5 and they're finishing up so they're like slowly like falling out and then you got the girls like me who come in mid shift and Girls who come in mid shift and kind of relieve those girls, and it's also just not a lot. Not a lot of girls do the mid shift, you know what I mean? That'd be more in the opening shift, just like that, you know, really money. Yeah. And then I can see, like, you know, towards the nighttime, the demographic of the customers and dancers that like, changes up, which I think is nice. Um, like, I mean, I don't really, like, care if I'm the only black girl there. I don't care if it's a bunch of other black women there. Um, so I don't need to be, like, that trophy when it's like, oh, whatever that's not. I think I make my money regardless. And I'm working on just talking to people. And that might seem like it wasn't an important thing to say, but it definitely matters. It definitely matters. Um, she dancing out in the burbs where I'm not the majority. Um, it was kind of emotional for me taking 95 and because the way I left the club I passed by the office job that I had for a month and it just sucks. Like I mean like I was telling my customer about it and I laughed about it but it's just like it sucks. Because I was going to do that job thinking that I don't got to be in the club that much. You know what I mean? I'll come in the club like once or twice out of the month max. You know, make a little money, save it up, move on. But honestly, like, It just really sucks because I'm just like, bro, I'm trying my hardest, but it is what it is. Like, some things I know just aren't meant for me, and that's okay. I I would rather like things not work out for me, and I can just. Why am I behind the slowest people in Philadelphia right now? I'm so sorry. I feel like everyone in front of me is drunk or something. I forgot about these earrings. Um, they were in my uh, little sheen bag. I think a bunch of us dance have like little sheen bags. These earrings, I think they're really cute. Um, bro, come on. Like, are you drunk? Are you high? It's all right, but get, get off the road. Are you good? You need some milk, you need some water? And I hate being that person who like, does the whole like, oh, I'm tired of this driver, but like, I would like to go home. I haven't eaten since. I don't even know my brother. 
Everything I drop is a banger. Alright, come on now, merge. Oh yeah, so I'm tired, I'm hungry. Um but yeah, I had a good time. It was it was nice going back. Nice getting that, you know. I just wish I had different pair of shoes. That's it, it literally ruins my my comfortability, you know what I mean? Because at a certain point, because I was like, yeah, I'll go on stage one more time to the DJ. And I went to go sit down. I crochet to live in the club too. I think that was nice. Because for me, like instead of me getting a second drink, because I don't need to drink anymore. It's not it's not popping like that. I feel like I need to get loose like that. Nah, but even if it was that, I'd rather sit there and look weird and crochet and at least it'll be a conversation piece a little starter piece so like, are you are you knitting it's, it's always are you knitting it's never are you crocheting i think knitting is more popular than crochet it's more like popular in, in terms of like doing conversation whatever um but yeah i'd rather do that versus get sloppy john i really don't like sloppy john and last time, I think, I don't know if I told you guys or whatever, but like, I just, I fucked up my bag. And that's not what I'm there to do. I'm not there to waste time. You know what I mean? I gotta make money. And I was thinking too, like, my thing is, I'm not saying if a guy wants to buy me like 20 shots, I'm gonna be like, hell yeah. Okay? Because the money's around 20 shots. I can get me a VIP room. And it's simple as that. <laughs> and no, uh, um, yeah, I, but what I meant to, what I'm saying when I say this is, um, I don't want to spend my money on drinks. If I'm going to drink, it's because someone is buying me a drink, right? But, like I said, if a customer's sitting there trying to buy me a shot of a shot, I'm not doing that. Because, fuck do I look like getting sloppy? Like, we're not doing that at home. You know, we, we did, we did too much of that, like, well, like two years ago when I was still in that point of my life. So I'm going to take this wig off because I don't care about this shit anymore. And I'm going to keep this hat on. Okay. I'm just like, I'm tired. I don't want to have this shit on anymore. Like I said, you guys can get the real me. Ooh. Only in Philadelphia. But yeah, so... I know I look like um, a male golf player, but don't be not don't be mean. I'm still that bitch. Anyways, I'm about to turn in, so I want to thank you guys for watching. If you watched this far, um, I know I talk a lot, but I've been told that people would rather have me just do unedited shit, and this is what this is unedited. So um, yeah, please be kind to yourselves, love yourselves. And hopefully my next video will not be so far in between uh, the previous. Uh, but yeah, so consensus is tonight was great. Um, I will let you guys know if I'm going to do it again. Until then, have a good night.